Medicine and science behind hip and knee replacements has improved so much over the years that in hospitals like UConn Health, they can often be treated, believe it or not, as actually an outpatient <laughs> procedure. Seriously, yeah. And a big part of this whole change is in how they approach it. Now, don't get me wrong. It's a big procedure. Mm. Here's the thing, though. If you think of it as a gigantic week-long procedure, you tend to treat it that way, and you don't always have to. Last year, I still was gardening, but I get down to my knees and I would stay down there for like three hours because getting up was extremely painful. Mark LaFontaine of Willimantic said the chronic pain in his hip had gotten to the point it was disabling. I did something that I swore I would never do. I got on one of those little carts that drive around. The problem was years in the making, but getting back on his feet after a replacement, that only took hours. You know, about six hours later, I was out of bed. Only a few years ago, the minimum uh, hospital stay for a, uh, for a standard hip and knee replacement has been about three days. Uh, and uh, today, we're talking about same day and 24 hours uh, uh, discharge. Dr. Mo Halawi at UConn Health said, it's not because doctors are rushing patients out the door. He said it's because there were a lot of unnecessary treatments that just wound up extending recovery time. What used to take patients several days to reach a certain criteria to go home, now patients are reaching the same exact criteria in a matter of hours, not days. For example, doctors realized that one of the biggest reasons patients stayed longer in the hospital after replacement was because they were given powerful prescription painkillers like opioids that knocked them for a loop. It's just a realization that, wait a second, uh, we're treating something, but in treating it, we're creating other problems. But Dr. Halawi said that research indicated over-the-counter painkillers, starting even before the surgery, are often enough. Very rarely do patients need more pain medicine. If any, it's just really, really tiny. I could sit and I could feel that there was something there, but it wasn't. It wasn't even what I would call pain. It was like a little discomfort. Dr. Halawi said he also saves time and resources by personally staying involved in patients' recoveries. There was no visiting nurse. There was no physical therapist. He told me what to do. He told me if I had an issue to call him. Everything is actually gone almost quicker than he told me. Dr. Halawi said not everyone is a good candidate, but when they are, over a year and a half, uh, I would say all except two patients, that's 99% of the patients were able to go home the same day or the following morning. That's incredible. He said the record is five and a half hours. Uh, his record, yeah, I think about five hours. Now, of course, yeah, your mileage may vary. Some people do need to stay for a while. And he was very strident about saying, if you think you need to stay, if your caretaker, your family member thinks you need to stay, right. you're going to stay in the hospital. This mm -hmm. is people wanting to get out and then taking all the steps they need to do to do it. And it's almost inconceivable to think that you can do it in half a day, that you're it really out is. that fast. Yeah. Yeah.